get down. Get down on the ground. LSPD, get down! Hello, and welcome to a little short video which should hopefully explain how to make ready or not. Oh, I can see behind my back. Nice butt. Uh, you can make ready or not work in UEVR. So, first of all, uh, the game doesn't have gamepad support right at the start. Uh, so you need to go and edit the file. You should, should be able to see now on the screen. Um, um, this is the path that you have to go and look for this file. So it's the engine.ini and you need to edit this file and put in this small text right at the top. Uh, so this is how you activate the gamepad, which the basically UEVR uses your controllers as a makeshift gamepad. So you need to... Mm, I'll call it later, thank you. Uh, so you'll need to activate your uh, gamepad usage in Ready or Not. This is how you do it. So the second thing as well is that Ready or Not um, actually has an open VR kind of plugin that might interfere with UE VR. So in order to not have that, you're going to need to go to this directory and delete or rename this specific directory. Yeah. And once you have that, just load up, ready or not. Uh, I would recommend that you go into um, like either training or uh, single player mode or any other mode, uh, just so that you're not in the menu, because it gets a bit tricky if you're in the menu to control with the gamepad. And then uh, what you should do after that is First of all, connect your headset, make sure it's all working. Load up uh, Steam VR, make sure that that one's working normally on your headset that it sh as it should. And then you can load up the plugin for uh, UEVR. So if you're already in the game like I am, uh, and you load up the plugin, you had Steam VR already open, you should find that you get this menu here as you start. So. Uh, this allows you to set up a couple of options, and we're going to go through just the, the important ones that you uh, that you can set if you want to look through all the options that you have for this um, for this app, the UEVR. You can go to their website, link in the description. Otherwise, just follow the simple steps, and you should be fine. So, first of all, make sure that you have the show advanced options here on the top left. Uh, they have to be selected, and uh, Oddly enough, you have to use the button A on your right gamepad in order to select things. So if you just hit trigger, which is what you would expect to work, that doesn't actually do anything. The trigger is just used as a combined control to work with your camera, actually. And we're going to go through that in just a second. So first thing you have to do, make sure the show advanced options is enabled. Uh, and this is a clean setup, so I haven't changed anything here. Uh, then the second thing that you should do is go here into the Unreal option. And you can, if you have like ghosting issues with your headset, you can enable that here, ghosting issues, enable that. And if you have some issues with your uh, GUI that's showing up or it's too dark and you don't want to install a mod, there's a mod by the, by the way too to remove the darkness, which I'll link again in the description. But if you don't want to hassle with that, or if you don't really know how to install that, you can just click here and you're going to see the GUI disappears. Not on your screen, but trust me, <laughs> on my screen is no longer visible. So let's go back to the menu. Uh, as you can see here, I'm moving around Officer Michaels, please call my us. own VR space, Officer but Michaels, please call see us. that the the gun looks a bit weird and I can even look at my own body. That's because we haven't activated a lot of the inputs that we're going to use. And for that, we're going to go to input. And first of all, we're going to change the, uh, the aim method. We want the aim method to be the right controller. If you want a different aim method, just pick another aim method. That's fine. Um, this is only going to really matter when you're playing um, with your gun in three 
blocked off, which is what we're setting up for now. So, uh, and then the movement orientation, what I like to do is to change it to head HMD, and then I like to enable uh, room scale movement. And what that allows it to do is, if we move the uh, screen now, is that I'm moving my right stick up and down, and it moves the weapon, as you can see on the screen. You can move left, right, up and down, as if it was a mouse. So this is basically my moving, moving the uh, right stick is representing what the mouse moves. Computer. And and I can look around left and right. So this is this is nice. You can you can play like this easily. You can even line up uh, your um, your tech with your uh, with your camera. And to do that, what you would do is you go to the menu. This is a bit tricky, but you would press the trigger on the right uh, on the right controller. That menu appears, and then you use up down on the right controller on the Android stick or desk. left right on the left controller while you're pressing the trigger and that readjusts the camera into a different position. So you see now it's a lot more lined up, at least for me it is, for the right eye. And I can see much better in the right eye. And this takes a little bit of adjustment and uh, yeah that's basically it. So another thing is that if you don't want uh, the GUI to follow around, like you're not going to be able to see this on the uh, on the 2D representation that you're seeing now on YouTube, but when you move your gun around, you're going to see that the GUI follows the gun. Uh, so you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to, I believe it's uh, runtime here, and then you're going to select this option and the UI, which basically is the, uh, see the, the mission debrief on the top right and the little um, gadgets that you're using on the top left, it's gonna follow your view. So instead of like following your gun and it looks very weird because you can look in different positions than your gun, um, it's just gonna follow your view. And then you can adjust the, uh, the distance that the UI is gonna be, and then the the size that is gonna be up to your to your liking. Or you can just again go to Unreal Option and disable the UI here completely. Uh, keep in mind that if you do this, you're not going to see some aspects of the game. So when you're trying to, uh, well, like when you're changing single, and you're going to be able to see that. <laughs> but when you change the single whammy, or when you're trying to activate something like this, you're not going to see the UI in your um, HMD. Uh, goggles. You're gonna see it in games, like if you look at your actual screen, you're gonna still see it there. But you're not gonna see it on the goggles. Um, and that can be a bit annoying sometimes. <laughs> What's missing? Oh yes! So right now we are in two degrees, sorry, not two, three degrees of freedom. If we go here to the shooting range, you can still lower your gun, up your gun, left, right, you can shoot it as well, and you can even like cant it. This is settings that uh, uh, if you go and look in the um, uh, in the description below, you're gonna have uh, a little bit of a description about where you can change the settings as well um, for your controllers, like what the keybinds do, uh, because there's no way that you can set them uh, in a game. Um, Aside from that, we are now in 3 DOF. You can play normally like this. Or, if you want the full experience, you're going to have to do the following. So, you're going to main, common objects, acknowledge pawn, then it's going to scroll down here to properties. You're gonna scroll all the way down, yada yada yada, to 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 where it says inventory something. Uh, incapacitated by inventory comp. I think it's composition. So you click on that. And that's gonna have uh, again under inventory composition properties. You're gonna have a another selection of things that you can change and what you're looking for is this um, option that says last equipped weapon you're going to click on that 
And it's gonna show you that, oh yeah, you have the uh, the weapon that you currently have, you can see it because the, uh, the screen is too small. But if you were to go here to uh, themes and lower the font size a little bit, I like to put it on 13, and then go back to main, knowledge pawn, properties, scroll all the way down to inventory composition. I'm guessing it's composition. I don't know for sure. Inventory composition, properties, and then you can see uh, it's still hard to see, but just trust me, that's the, uh, the equipped weapon that we, that we currently have now. So here, what you're going to want to do is go to components, and you're going to see the different components of the gun. Uh, bullet spawn, shell spawn, muzzle, flash, etc. etc. The item you're looking for is this skeleton skeletal mesh component item mesh you're gonna extend that and you're gonna attach either to the right um, controller if you're right-handed or to the left controller if you choose left hand so right controller and the weapon's gonna disappear oh my god what just happened don't worry it's still here but it's sideways now so we're gonna do permanent change because we want to save this change or when we come back to the game and we're going to click on adjust so when we click on adjust you're going to see this little thing here floating this is my right controller as shown in the game and you're going to line this up exactly sometimes the gun moves a little bit as well you're going to line this up exactly with your gun and click both some six and Voila! Look at that! So I click again on both, uh, I save state. Uh, if I click again on both thumbsticks, I can now maneuver the gun as my controller. But we still have this annoying hands and shirt showing up. How do I get rid of this? Uh, well, I would love to attach this to the gun, like that, but sadly it's not possible. Or maybe it is, I just don't know how. <laughs> uh, so, what we're going to do, we're going to hide these hands. So we're going to, again, click on our both of some six to bring the menu up. I'm going to scroll all the way up. All the way up. All the way up to Acknowledge Pawn. And click on Components. So this is us. Components is what we have on. And we're going to find the things that we don't want, which is the shirt, the mesh, and what don't we want to see? The shirt. Click on visible, that disappears. Save visibility state. Can minimize that. What else don't we want? We want the no gloves, because it's arms. If you had gloves, it would say glove something. We're going to click on that. It's going to disappear. And then the watch. Uh, you're gonna scroll down. Here it is, shock watch. Again, visible, no. Save visibility. Uh, keep in mind that some watches don't really disappear, so you might need to take out the watch um, if you can't make it uh, disappear. So now we're ready to go. We can take both of some six. Any more gun? Shoot. Except we can wave it around as if it was a controller. So this is as close as you're gonna get to an actual full immersive VR game. And it's bloody amazing. You can click the thing there, you can go into single mode, turn on the uh, flashlight, the sorry the uh, laser. Beautiful. Click on that. Oh, that's the wrong button, sorry. Ah, close enough. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> and that's it. That's all you have to do if you want to play with your controller um, as if it was a VR weapon. Now, if you have other weapons... Oh, guess what? It's already done. 
or should already be done. Uh, if it's not, or if you want to change something about how the weapon is held, uh, or how, if you want to add, for example, you want to have your shield in the left controller, all you have to do is again the same thing. Go to a knowledge player. So, components is everything that you have worn, all the weapons and stuff. Sorry, not all weapons. All the clothes and stuff is here on the components. And all the weapons that you can have, you know, properties, and then inventory composition. Inventory composition, and then you can see here that we already have the, uh, the Glock. Last equipped weapon. Go on the inventory composition, go to properties, go to the last equipped weapon, whatever you have equipped. Just attach to the right controller, the left controller, and then remember to save it. And that is done here in the item mesh, on the skeletal mesh component. Yeah. That's it. I hope you enjoyed. So, uh, just so you to see a little gameplay. Leave you with uh, me and a friend of mine. Unfortunately, his mic uh, didn't come through the recording, so you're just gonna hear me and a officer patrol gone wrong. What could happen? I don't know. You'll have to watch it. <laughs> see you there. Bye. -bye. Yeah. Talk to entry team. Suspects have a foothold in this area, and they're refusing to cooperate. Entry team, you are cleared to proceed with the mission. Uh, shall we? Shall we go this this way? LSPD, don't move. Yeah, push. Don't run. Oh, I hear uh, I hear voices. On left side. Can we go right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Turn. Come on, partner. Oh, I see the. Uh, I see the exit here. I'm. Uh, I'm just peeking. <laughs> yeah. There. LSPD, don't move. LSPD. Get down and put your hands up. Yeah, yeah. Push it, push him, uh, push it, push him back, push him to you. I can't, I can't push him to you. Me. Get down now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it closed here on the left? You'll be okay. Civilian is cuffed and good to go. Entry team to talk. Good to go. Talk reporting. Copy. Yeah. Move on. Get down. Get down on the ground. LSPD, get down! Hands in the air! Should it stay hidden? Stay hidden? Yeah, I'm covered. Hands! Hands! pushing back. back. Oh no, he's. Oh, shh, he got me. He got me, partner!